Welcome. In this video, we'll give continuity to the study of the rules of partial differentiation. We'll see the division and the division by a constant. So imagine that you have two multiple variable functions. You have u and you have v. And these are functions of x, y, and z. And you want to find the partial derivative of their ratio. You want to find the partial derivative of their division with respect to some variable. So in our case, we're using x. What the rule says is that you have to multiply the denominator to the partial derivative of the numerator with respect to that variable you want minus the de numerator multiplied by the partial derivative of the denominator with respect to that variable you want and all of that should be divided by the square of the denominator so in order for us to understand that we can solve this first example and you just have to remember that whenever we have v or u here means that we have to keep that function as constant so in this example one we have this exponential function and also have this relative function. So we have to identify which one is u, which one is v. And because I say the derivative of this divided by this means that our u, which is the numerator, is 15 e raised to 12 xy squared z minus xy. And our v obviously will be the natural log of w. So as we know the rule now, we have to find the partial derivative with respect to the variable we want of the numerator and also the partial derivative of the variable we want of the denominator. As you can see here, our partial derivative should be with respect to z, not with respect to x as the formula says. So what you can do now is we have to find the partial derivative of this in advance with respect to z and likewise we have to do for v. So the partial differentiation of this z of v with respect to z will be 15 when you have a situation like this you want to find the derivative of it you know that you have to find the derivative of the power and then multiply by the whole function itself keeping the power as it is so we're going to have 15 into the partial derivative with respect to z of this power so here we have z so this z will become 1 so this gives us 12 x y square all of this is multiplied by e raised to 12xy squared z minus xy so this is the partial derivative of u respect to z the same thing we have to do for dv so we have v derivative with respect to z so what you'll have now when i have a logarithmic function let us say you have natural log of u you want to find the derivative this is just derivative of the argument divided by the original argument which means that now we have to find the derivative of this function which is the argument here with respect to z and then divide by the original function so this is the rule n x raised to n minus 1 because it's the power if you don't know about these rules i strongly encourage you to go to our playlist about the derivatives so partial derivative of this with respect to z will be w y z raised to minus 2 and if we put z here minus 2 means that this minus 1 should come here to the front so you're going to have minus this all minus 3 y because the derivative here with respect to z will become 1. All of this is divided by the original argument which was w y z raised to minus 1 minus 3 y z. So now we have the partial derivative of u respect to z and we have the partial derivative of u respect to z. So what we have to do now is just replace from the formula. So del by del z because we're dealing with z of u by v is it going to be equal to we said v into the partial derivative of u respect to x what is our v our v is the natural log of w y z raised to minus 1 minus 3 y z multiplied by the partial derivative of u with respect to z which is this one into 15 into 12 so 15 to 12 we have 180 you can just put here 180 xy squared into e raised to 12 xy squared z minus xy this is the first part of it minus u we keep u as it is and our u is 15 e raised to 12 xy squared z minus xy all of this is multiplied by the partial derivative of v respect to z which is this one so Comes minus w y z raised to minus 2 minus 3 y divided 
by w y z raised to minus 1 minus 3 y z so this is what we have and we have to divide all of this should be divided by v square which is the original v so all of these should be divided by natural log of w y z raised to minus 1 minus 3 y z this square and this is the solution of our problem so now we want to find the division by a constant what the formula says is just we have to put minus sign and then you find the partial derivative of that function you want to respect the variable one divided by the original function squared so as you see this at first glance it doesn't look like this is a fraction but if you have anything for example if you have 10 raised to minus 1 this is the same thing as say 1 divided by 10 and if you for example have 10 raised to minus 2 this is the same thing as say 1 divided by 10 squared so these you can simplify saying that this can also be expressed as 12 3x squared z minus 6yz so to find the partial derivative of this with respect to x we just say d by dx by dx of 12 divided by 3x squared z minus 6yz so this is equal to minus that constant divided by the denominator which is our function square z minus 6yz this is square multiplied now by the partial derivative of this function with respect to the variable one so one the partial derivative of this function with respect to x so this x here can use the power rule which the power rule basically says that if you have x raised to n its partial derivative will be n minus 1 and then you put the n over here so the partial derivative will become this will become 6xz minus 0 so your results will be minus 12 divided by 3x squared z minus 6yz square into 6y 6xz this can also be simplified if you multiply 12 by 6 this is going to give us 72 so minus 72 3x square z minus 6yz square and this is xz